In six seasons at the helm of the club, tactician Jorge Jesus took Benfica to three league titles, six domestic cups and two Europa League finals. When the time came to replace him, Rui Vitoria was the chosen man. The 47-year-old didn't make many tactical adjustments, taking advantage of the basis left by the previous manager and focusing on player relationships and nurturing youngsters into the first team. This led to two more league titles, as well as the rise and consequent valuable sales of players like Nelson Semedo, Edison, Gonzalo Juárez, Renato Sanchez and Victor Lindelof. This season, however, things didn't go quite as planned. Little investment, despite the summer departures, was followed by the team dropping out of nearly every competition possible. The situation forced the manager to be tactically inventive, switching from their customary 4-4-2 to a 4-3-3, a new system that got them back on track to compete for the league title. They field their 4-3-3 with Lubomir Facer as the single defensive midfielder, while Pizzi and Zivkovic take up the spots ahead of him. Unlike a lot of big teams, Benfica's centre-backs and defensive midfielder aren't exceptional from a technical point of view, which restricts them to simpler involvements with the ball, usually playing lateral passes to their full-backs instead of vertical ones. The build-up, then, is in large part done through combination play between wide triangles of a composed full-back, winger and interior midfielder, who tend to outnumber the opposition's full-back and wide midfielder with their passing triangles. The right side balances out the team. Andre Almeida has improved going forwards, but is still a very good defender, while Salvio or Rafa Silva, despite being right-footed players, tend to get to finishing positions and provide some support to the striker without having to be the difference makers. Pizzi, the team's main creator last season, has been delegated to an equally important yet less flashy role this season. The Portuguese international doesn't have as much creative responsibility in this midfield trio, instead orchestrating the team's tempo with his passing from slightly deeper. The left-sided triangle, however, is the one responsible for the system's offensive proficiency. Grimaldo, an elegant Spanish fullback from Barcelona's La Masia Academy, is clever moving forwards in possession. A capable passer and ball carrier, he's great at interpreting when to overlap or underlap his winger, depending on what would be more troubling for the opposition. To cover the wide area alongside him, he found a perfect partner in Franco Cervi. The Argentine is a classic winger, good dribbler and crosser who is comfortable hugging the touchline and letting Grimaldo indulge in the left half space where he excels. Cervi also provides plenty of defensive support, which is important taking into account how much ground Grimaldo often leaves exposed. Zivkovic is the man to complete the trio. The Serbian under-20 World Cup winner is finally getting his chance to shine in Portugal with his dribbling and ball control as assets to get away from defenders in central areas. With freedom to roam, the 21-year-old combines well on the left but continuously opens spaces for himself and teammates elsewhere with his movement. While the changes to the team's dynamic have given Rui Vitoria's men a different edge, Jonas has kept his brilliance throughout. With 96 goals and 33 assists in just 106 games in Portugal, the Brazil international is capable of finishing even the most difficult of chances. He likes to drop deep and combine with his teammates. This lets him take advantage of his vision and technique to create for others, as well as opening the possibility for him to run onto cutback crosses at the top of the box. These types of crosses are preferred as a means of generating chances due to the forward's lack of aerial ability. The team's mobility and dynamism in the forward areas are extremely important because they're forced to spend a substantial portion of the time trying to unlock deep blocks. Without the ball, Facer's importance shines through. With such an array of attacking talent pushing forwards, there's often a lot of space to explore between the midfielders if a ball is lost in the opposition half and their press, which isn't particularly organised, is broken. The Serbian, who boasts the league's highest tally for tackles, plus interceptions per 90, with 6.5, is forced to cover a lot of ground, but does it well, knowing how to position himself to cut out passing lanes and when to stop opponents in transition. If the opposition opt to transition via long balls, the centre-back's aerial prowess tends to help them recover the ball and recycle it to the full-backs all over again. A team that was once overly reliant on their individual talent is now learning how to combine their skillful units in favour of a system, better than the sum of their parts. If you'd like to find out more about Benfica, or any other professional team, download the OneFootball app and follow any team of your choice to receive information about statistics and news and league positions. There's a link in the description if you'd like to download it. Thanks for watching.